Some questions are just about reading carefully. The bar graph shows the distribution of the number of walnuts per container for 20 containers at a grocery store. How many of these containers of walnuts contain exactly 78 walnuts? Here's the 78. Follow it up to the top. Go over. Seven. Done. That's it. There is no complexity to this question. Now, it is number one, right? So we know that this is supposed to be easy. At this point during the actual PSAT, you wouldn't know that you're in the easy module. So it's not like you'd be like, oh, I definitely am getting the easy module. Even the hard module is going to start with questions like this that are just about some very simple reading something, plugging a number in somewhere, one simple kind of math move. But um, yeah, this is just about reading a chart. Um, this idea of a frequency chart, though, does come up quite a bit in statistics questions where we might need to recognize that um, they're, we're comparing different values and, and things like that. So we might use that in, in different ways. So hopefully this question is kind of reminding you of what a frequency histogram is, uh, is there a bar graph as they're calling it. It shows us, you know, the, the number for each of these things. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe the only other word of warning just to stretch this out a bit more is pay attention to the the graph or maybe even the story, the, uh, the axis labels, sometimes they'll be like, this is the frequency, uh, in thousands. And so zero, one, two, three, four, five, or not really zero, one, two, three, four, five. They're 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, but it's labeled as one, two, three, four, five for shortness, right? So just be careful if they do that. They're, they're definitely not doing that here. Uh, maybe they're trying to mess with you with that. I don't know somehow, but, um, yeah, it that could happen, and I have seen that be like the main trap in a question. So just always read the graph, read the axis labels, read the, the, the summary, and that's true for the reading section as well when they give us graphs there.